Guys, welcome to Style Class, and um, <laughs> you're we Amy. just had our coffee, so, um, okay, this is going to be a great class, and um, it, I hope that some of you did your homework, which was to read The Good Ick, and that is the story of the fundamentals, the woofs, if I had a third name for them, I'd call them through lines, the new pieces in the collection that um, are highly familiar. They're ones that we've been carrying over from season to season, yep. and then brand new ones. Brand new ones, as which well. is exciting. Yeah, and so that's what we're gonna do today is Katura and I are gonna take you through the brand new styles, and we're gonna give you some context for, um, for the pieces. And while we do this, Katura, one thing I wanna do is as Matt had pointed out, this is season five, and we've been doing around um, how many? Mm -hmm. There's 12 months in a year, Definitely minimum more. three. So around 45 Episodes. style classes a year, times four. So that's like 100. Anyways, we've done a lot <laughs> of style classes, and what that means is that some of you who are joining in right now might have missed the first 140 style classes. And, and I know it because sometimes in my DM, someone will say, yep. what's the CP or Same. that kind of stuff. It's somewhere between dictionary. like 160 and 180. Yeah, a shit ton. Yeah. So yeah. what we want to do while we're talking is also we're going to step back and sometimes talk about the definitions mm -hmm. of these things so that everyone mm -hmm. can um, start to get into the same headspace. But we know that if you were in year three or four headspace, you got this down pat. It's such a good space. It's such a good space to be in. Yeah. And um, and so, you know, um, it's it's interesting. Tomorrow we have our goals meeting, our mm -hmm. team meeting, and I just want to say one of the things that I'm really excited about when we have this meeting is that um, I I feel really good about 2024. And part of it's just setting expectations. I like the name of my notebook is 2024 mm -hmm. won't suck. Yeah. But but the reason why I feel really good about it is I was with a woman in the store last week and um, she just felt so good in knowing who she was mm -hmm. and who her what her personal style is. And um, and I think that we really have established how important personal style is. So I think that when you know who you are you're able to motor through anything mm -hmm. and um, it's your armor and fundamentals are really really armor for a lot of us because if you feel like you're kind of swinging in the winds with trends or not even necessarily trends but you just yeah you're just yep. craving different things and you're trying to make sense of it yeah like some woman wrote to me uh, this morning and she was like I'm really drawn to all of these like Vivian Westwood pictures. Like, how do I make sense of that? Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, well, we're creative pragmatists here, and creativity is part of the scale. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is how do you lean into that creativity and then make it feel like yourself? You're not bringing in a dose of pragmatic because it makes you look better or right. more stylish. We just know that for many of us, it tends to make us feel more like ourselves. It's yep. the good balance. Um, so why don't we, let's go. Another um, thing about um, Without Fails that I love is that you can wear them throughout the year and they can really take you through the whole gamut of your life cycle, right? So I'm wearing the pant. My first Tibby purchase outside yeah. of being an employee was the Wilk. Mm -hmm. And I wore this from pre-pregnancy, after pregnancy, during pregnancy, COVID. I literally would grab this, like my fancy clothes during COVID and throw on these wolves. So in terms of like always thinking then about how can we make you feel smarter for having bought something, mm -hmm. so you're mixing the wilts now with the vest yep. from the collection. In, in tropical wool. That's the tropical wool. What size are you wearing? So I have it in small right now. This okay. is a sample I pulled from the, uh -huh. and I'm just wearing it open as a vest. Yeah. So you guys can see too that um, the clothing is for you to really decide how big or how small you want it to be. Yeah. Like a, in our regular in our Liam jacket, what size do you take? I take a large, but I also take a medium. Yeah, yeah. so it really is like this. You know, it it depends on how big or how small you want it to be. And then you're wearing the washable cashmere. Yep, T T. And so um, a lot also of you guys bought the cashmere T that we 
introduced this summer in the main collection mm -hmm. and um, that t-shirt sold out mm -hmm. right away and one of the things that I talk about in the good ick was that the criteria the bar that we set for something being graduated into fundamentals is quite high so with this cashmere t-shirt we wanted to make sure that we would wear it a lot that mm -hmm. you guys would wear it a lot um, and that it would really play a role in our closet and I think that we found that something that has all of the ease and the functionality of a t-shirt, but all of the refinement of yeah. something that's cashmere would really, really work well for us. I'm sorry, what size are you wearing in the tee? Small. Small. Okay, so you've grabbed the small there. Yep. And um, we talked last week too, when things are meant to be oversized, the difference also between a small and a large is sometimes a difference of like if someone asked you if you put in you know 10 more cups of water into the bathtub you really like you're yeah. starting from a very big base to begin with sure so it's um it's little incremental steps there so these two pieces have just given you more use mm -hmm. out of what you already have right now yeah and I wearing a million ways yeah and you're and then thinking forward to you're wearing it with the sneakers mm -hmm. that are coming out in the springtime um so what are you wearing Oh, yeah, I want to talk about that. So, um, I'm wearing the washable cashmere as well. And that's I, navy, that navy, that deep navy, that's because I'm wearing black, but you can see the yeah, difference. Yeah, you can see the difference mm -hmm. up close, right? So, it's subtle. Mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely navy that doesn't have hints of royal blue in it. And then I'm wearing it with, so I'm wearing the size small. Mm -hmm. And um, I love the high neck in this. And this is really a signature for us. And the reason why it's a signature, which it just doesn't seem like something like this could be a signature, because mm -hmm. you're like, really, Amy? Because it's a freaking like crew neck. But the reason why it's a signature is it comes up quite high. It doesn't strangle you, but it comes up quite high. It has a point of view. And what happens is most brands who are really required to have a very large audience base because mm -hmm. they've got a very big beast that they need to feed in terms yep. of revenue and things like that, they design by committee. And maybe the designer didn't start out that way, but somehow by the time that it got through the merchandiser's hands and whoever oh, is it. listening in on Instagram and everything, they've come back and they're like, guys, we know this is, that this... This is the neckline this, that we're going to sell on the table. Right, this... <laughs> And it almost seems like too much. I feel like we're not being modest. It's like you're showing that part. But it's so fucking, oh. to me, it's so, and it, it, it feels, sometimes what feels um, basic to you really comes as like, it's just like how much you're seeing something over and over again. Basic and, so, and simple aren't the same thing. No, not at all. And that's why, like, I hate it when people say basics because mm -hmm. they're really not the same like, feeling basic and then basics. Mm -hmm. But this has a very strong point of view. This would have a strong <laughs> point of view, you know? Like, yeah. here, I'm going here. It's yeah. a strong point of view. Yep. This is milk toast. It is, it is, um, it just feels very, very average to me. And it feels average because mm -hmm. clearly, it is the design decision that is made in boardrooms across the world. Therefore, you see it much more often. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you feel like you see yourself coming and going. And if everyone went up like this, then we'd probably be doing a live where we're like, we have a point of view. So anyways, but for right now, yep. basic, not, not basic. basic. Yeah. Cool. And then um, you're wearing it with the pull-on skirt. So. And I'm wearing it with the pull-on skirt. And we, um, we love this skirt, clearly. Um, you wore this. I wear it to death. It's to like death. a pant for me. I reach for it, almost reach for it today. Um, in every color, white, mm -hmm. black, and now this color. And one of our definitions is 12 mowers. So these are things that can be worn 12 months out of the year. And I just paired this with um, hose and a sock and a sandal today. And we've got it in the elastic mm -hmm. waist skirt, which is a full skirt with the pocket. And then we also, you guys are welcome, but we did um, bring it back in this kind of, what do we name him? The so balloon skirt? Balloon the skirt. nylon balloon skirt. Nylon balloon skirt. Yep. And so these are two favorites. And what I love especially about them is these are in the ring three yep. colorways. 
So if you're wearing these two together, mm -hmm. and even like with the black vest, and then I just want to show like if you had um, the gold. Do you mind grabbing the gold sandal out mm -hmm. there? Thanks. Because I, mean, I was wearing those at that wedding. Everyone was asking about it. But you can see how, like, having these no color colors and then um, the black, like, this just gives it so much interest. And then, you know, in the summertime, yep. this is uh, one of our new sandals coming out. And one of the things I want to point out here in terms of when we say that we're really committing to a point of view on things is like when we do a flat this is where i really really like it super flat mm -hmm. okay so you know when you can describe something and you can use the word super or like crazy flat you know that is when you know that it's exhibiting a point of view if you're like eh, but also crazy comfortable ish. though we love it right yep um, well, you know what? Tracy doesn't think it's comfortable because she like needs like super arch support. So this is something like I love right? that you said that, right? Because it's that means it's not for yeah, everybody. Yeah, it's so not for everyone. Not for everybody. And then the same goes here with the ballet flat. You can see like, I mean, we're not joking. It's not called a ballet heel. It's a ballet flat. <laughs> and this one has um, we did all the top stitching. These are made in Italy, so. They've got the fully top stitch in the back and then just a very light padding here. And then they smush up and we, I just want to show you how they flatten and smush up. This mm -hmm. is one where I said I took these on the train with me this morning uh, to wear in the office in the snow. But like you can literally see here how flat it gets. So like we're not Slice joking around about that. Um, <laughs> And what we loved with these is they really come in this interesting carton. Um, so it just pops open like that. And then you can pull them out. And so you can see how flat they are because we're able to, they're all like nicely smushed down here in their beautiful little box that you're going to want to save for other things. So in the flats, we've got the, the metallics which are kind of a, a crunchier nylon. Mm -hmm. And then here you've got the, the more sporty nylon. And this was taken from the concept of like the old Nike running shoes from the 70s. Yep. So it's that kind of like icky idea of a nylon. Um, kind of martial artsy too. Yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, there's a question about rules with uh, gold and silver and matching them with warm colors versus cold colors. Also, really quick, can you let them know that I'm fighting all the spam in the chat? Oh, do we have like right eggplants and stuff? Right, yeah. Gross, people. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm fighting. Who? Thank you, Matt. Matt is gonna police the... Have crazy. you seen that movie Blackbird? It's like that guy sitting there putting eggplants in. Anyway, no, that's, <laughs> that's where they got the idea. <laughs> totally. Um, okay, so the question was, first of all, gold, silvers versus neutrals. Yep. I um, I don't, I think that there, so remember, it's not about rules. It's about the different vibe that something creates. So when you are wearing a, do you mind making Shruti come in? <laughs> like when you're wearing the silver here and you're wearing it with something really dark and saturated, then not right or wrong, but the vibe is going to be much stronger yeah. and bolder. It's gonna be high contrast. When you wear it, this is where you're gonna get like a lot of good friction. Yeah. And then, actually I'm gonna have Shruti come in. Ooh. Shruti's our amazing, amazing product developer. Mm -hmm. And she, you're wearing the cashmere, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're wearing, Shruti's wearing the darker gray. And someone was asking about mixing metallics and everything with like warmer colors or colder colors. So this gray has a little bit of blue in it and it's a little bit, it's a little bit warmer, right? I think it's like, warmer, it's a warm gray. Um, but you can see here that these together, especially worn with the raw denim, you're wearing last year's raw yes, denim. Yes, fundamentally. Yeah. And then, um, oh yeah, sorry, it's yep. here still. And then we've got it in the Sid as well, mm -hmm. um, the raw denim in the Sid. 
So here, when you're mixing the silver with the warmer colors and the indigo, I would say it's a more softer, it's just a mm -hmm. relaxing vibe, yeah. where when you were wearing it with your all black, you're like much more electrified, mm -hmm. and you're giving like modern Brunello vibes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like totally. That's Very what relaxed. it's doing, yeah. right? And then for me right here, it's just mixing it up and it's creating like just kind of creative interest to yeah. me. Like I think if I were wearing this together, someone would be like, I never thought of mixing that all together. Like it's very unexpected. I and I would keep the gold earrings on it. I'd be fine. Creative yeah. interest equals good ick. Yes. Yeah, this definitely has got some ick, bold, soothing. How tall are you, Trudy? Um, I'm actually quite short. <laughs> Five cool. three. All are five three. You okay. get tall energy. I mean, well, I'm so wearing, you're five three. And you're wearing the maxi. I'm, I'm wearing the boots. Yeah, I mm -hmm. didn't get them hemmed. I kind of like them. Who makes your boots? boots? Uh, these are vintage Mimio. They're good. Oh, so they kind of did a riff on that with their new one, didn't they? I yes. look at you. Yes, vintage. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Good job. <laughs> real real. Um, <laughs> real real. Um, one last question. Yeah. You're wearing this size small, mm -hmm. but yeah. you would have normally taken an extra small. What What do you normally grab? I usually grab smalls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smalls are 26, 27. Yeah. Denim 26, jeans 26, and I, I believe this is also this is 26. 26. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, okay. So that answers that question. Yep. Any other questions? Um, I'm trying to. I'm, just, I'm doing the double balance. Okay. Um, so the other thing that we really want uh, the fundamentals to do is we talked about the bar of them getting into the fundamentals club, right? So they need to really be able to work with past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. They need to be able to change up a vibe depending on what accessory or item that you've put it with. And then they need to really, really solve a problem. So to me, the ultimate problem solver has been the ring three T's. And this is something that we wanted to bring in an assortment of t-shirts so that if you're someone like me who wears a lot of navy blue suits, someone mm -hmm. like you that wears like a lot of black suits, yep. well, I mean, there's only so many blue and white pinstripe shirts and white t-shirts in a day that you can wear, but somehow for the, uh, the price point that a t-shirt affords, being able to just put on a t-shirt and have an entirely different vibe feels really, really interesting. So, you know, if I'm wanting to have this kind of, um, I, this is like this old like Armani 90s vibe happening here. Mm -hmm. And then, um, do you wanna do? Yeah, so then if I wanted to mix it in here with a green, you know, this would give it like a little bit of a colder feel. Yep. If I wanted to do, um, I'm sorry, of course I go the one like right in the back. <laughs> if I wanted to do the blue, this would be like a real nun vibe. Mm -hmm. It would just be like all soothing. So any mm -hmm. of the past um, fundamental colors that we've done, all of these t-shirts are going to completely change the vibe when you wear them. And the other thing too that we know is like what fundamentals do so beautifully is that when you're wearing them, this here, you've got the neutral covered mm -hmm. with this colorway. Then you've got the ring three with the ring three color. Mm -hmm. And then this is where if you wanna add in like a red shoe or something, earring. then you've got like, yeah, or an earring, you got then the pop that the, fourth color ring gives you that really saturated look. So again, this is where these really, 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 really solves a problem. From a, a quality standpoint, I had a woman write me and say, oh, I bought this shirt for my daughter and then I saw it and I touched it and I needed it to like find it for me because it's so soft and you can see it's kind of washed down to look like it's a vintage tee, which I yeah. love. So without you get the vintage feel without having to search for it and someone yeah. else wearing it. Why don't, I'm going to throw on one of them, and great. then you guys can get an idea of, um, <clears throat> yeah, okay, you can get an idea of the size you have. What I also love is that on the site, you have another skirt. So the skirt that Amy is wearing now comes in this beautiful red, and it's kind of similar to the red of our shoe. 
I love that it was paired and merchandised back to a ring three color because that really kind of gives you a ton feel, but also if you wore it with something else like flack that's strong. Um, shout out to Sarah who's not here. A really soft way to wear color. So we have a lot of options. Yeah. So I just want to show here like this. Is, did we, we just did one body in this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We did one body. Okay. I think we'll probably bring out another body later on. Maybe more chunky. Okay, so this is to give you an idea of uh, the sizing. So this is the size small. And um, of course, this is one that I know my sons are gonna steal. A lot of you, the guys at Tibby Husbands <laughs> Instagram are gonna take this. Um, but you can see like where this would roll up. Mm -hmm. And then I just wanna show you too that What's great here with the these no color colors is you can mix them all up and you just get like a really interesting color range on the body. And I think that this is one where, you know, when we talk about how to build out your closet in a way that that makes sense where you feel like you've got some control over it. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the ways to do it is like when you get those neutrals really down and grounded we know that for a lot of people, the instinct is to then be like, oh, I've got all this black, white, navy, brown in my closet, and now I've got to get all these bright colors in. For really, like, I love it bright. Mm -hmm. It really does something to the mood and everything when you have a bright element in yep. there. I tend to wear it more in a shoe or an earring. But when you bring in these ring three colors, it really just makes your closet surge. So something as simple as just bringing in a ring three color t-shirt and a ring three color skirt you know that you might already have a chocolate brown blazer a denim blade you yep. know all the other elements to go with this but you would feel like you have got an entirely new wardrobe and the reason why is because we're not giving you ideas for new outfits. This isn't just giving you a new outfit to wear. Strange. It's an entire new feeling yeah. in your closet. It's and when you feel like you have nothing to wear, it's usually because it's you just feel so uninspired by your closet because the majority of you, and I'm not speaking for everyone by any shot, the majority of you probably have got more clothes than you know what to do with. So it's not that you have an empty closet, it's that you have a closet that's not inspiring you. So something like this already just makes me feel like fresh and new. So one ton or none, so let's talk about that. If someone were trying to recreate this outfit and they said, Amy, is this a one ton or none? Where would you land? I'm kind of in the none vein on this, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, well, because of where your eye lands? Yeah, like- these are I, kind of the same tone. I know, so I mean, I, if anything, I would say that it's one because my eye's landing like here, mm -hmm. and then this is, you know, all dark. But um, I think this is a somebody that only wears black. This would feel like a ton for them because this is probably out of their comfort zone. It's not a ton to me though. It's it's like if I started to layer it on with like mm. a red handbag, if I put on like a bright green earring, then like ton to me is like you've really pushed it over the top. It's, it's like, um, like, yeah, it's like, it's like, if you think about Balenciaga's runway or Lueve's runway, it's, it's really pushed. And when you see a runway of a brand that is a more feminine or pretty brand or more department store brand, they tend to like go there and then they pull themselves mm -hmm. back. So if they did a red skirt, they would do it in a much safer way. You know, Ton is Sarah Brody, you know, taking the red skirt, the mint, the right. pink, and a gold sandal or something. And then you were just like so full out there. And, uh, and there's no South Florida Realtor vibes there. <laughs> and um, and if you're in Berlin, you probably don't know what that means, but that's probably a good thing. Um, no shade to the... Um, yeah, so Sid has now come out in um, the regular wash denim, guys. And I'm sorry it took a long time uh, to come back, but it's here now. And so, yay. But, you know, good things come when you wait. And um, 
And I don't think six months is too long to wait. So no. you waited, thank you. So the regular wash is up on the line. And then we've added the raw denim, which is absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to wear it. I'm gonna wear it just like this. It's gonna make me very happy. And as a good comparison point, this is the regular, well now we're actually calling it short and regular. So you'll see the size chart says S and R. So this is the S and this is the R. Three inches in difference. And then all of the SIDs have the snaps in the back. So the snaps in the back are, are so that you can snap it up here. And then when you're wearing it, it's going to be a little bit shorter in the back. And then it's going to be longer in the front. Because what you want to do is you want your pants to really drape nicely over the front half of that foot. Um, that's what keeps it really long and keeps it puddling. You don't want to have that straight across, like shorter hem that is just basic, basic, basic feeling. I'm 5'7 and some change, and I wear the regular. Amy also wears the regular by preference, right? You wear I wear the longer length. Like, yeah, which we're yeah. re establishing. Yeah. I wear whatever. <laughs> whatever the, the longest it is, is yeah. we both wear. Cool. Yeah. Um, then you're wearing the trench. Yeah. And this is the Lyocell trench. Yeah. And if you guys, um, he was one where we did him in the army green. And the reason why, first of all, he white. made the cut. Yep. He got uh, he got promoted into um, he got promoted into fundamentals. But when we promoted him, we can I when we pr we promoted mm -hmm. him, we shortened him a little bit. Mm -hmm. I can feel the difference. Yeah. And I take this um, in a large normally. I think we now we go from small to large, but it's pretty generous. We actually shortened a little bit of the sleeve too. Yeah, I think that, you know, for, um, so when we brought this out, it was in main collection. And so that you know, when Tracy and I are designing, we really see main collection as a place where we want to really push, we want to be very experimental. Mm -hmm. um, we might get into some debates about whether or not something belongs in the line. And we definitely may make some mistakes because if you don't make mistakes, it means you didn't try anything new and that is a fact. So mistakes are good in that way. And then when we do something and it turns out that we really, really love it and it's got legs mm -hmm. from all the different, sometimes if you just love something, it doesn't mean that you're going to put it into fundamentals. Right. Like, I love that salope trouser skirt dress. Right. I'm not gonna put it into fundamentals because it's not PD PDW, it's not 12 mower. You're not running to the grocery store in it. PDW and is played in a work yeah. for the new Thank piece. You. You're wearing what size? <laughs> I'm wearing the size small and Couture is wearing the size small. Yeah. I am five foot five and you are five eight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. little round up. Um, <laughs> I'm a little round up too. I know so that's what even round up, I round up. Um, um, so you can see where the length is. If any of you did buy the army green one from the main collection last year, mm -hmm. you know that it was more down to here. Yep. So we shortened it a little bit. You've got the detachable scarf back here, which is great. And you can like wear it or not your choice. I love um, that this is buttoned because you, you won't lose your, uh, strap. There's a little button there to keep it in. Yeah. And what i yes that is like key i stole this i'm not going to pretend like this was our idea this was real. my husband's armani coat from the 90s had this thing on it and i was like okay that's Inspired so by. smart um and so what i love about a good trench is it's a real mm -hmm. problem solver so if you're going to a really dressy event a trench is like that coat that you really can get away with wearing it mm -hmm. to a very dressy event and you still feel really elevated. So like imagine you're wearing like down. Yeah, you're imagine you're wearing like this beautiful black strapless dress mm -hmm. with the trench just thrown over your shoulders. There's something just so relaxed about it. And like and then uh, yes, I would do like a big black leather jacket. Yeah. But like I'm not wearing a fur coat and um, especially at my age it's so like <clears throat> maturing. And like it, I'm no tanner bombs in it. I'm like just give me one. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. My grandma's. No, I don't. I can't. I, mean, I, I can't. Like, I just. I don't know. Not right now. I just. It's just a lot. Yeah. Even though that Louis Vuitton, I like yeah. the first that they had. Um, the men's collection. But I think that well, and like the rose is great. But like I'm not standing around like this all day. Like I'm, you know, a mom and living Greenwich and everything. So, anyways, we are totally um, going off on <laughs> tangents. But my point is that. 
these are like the coats you can really show up and it almost can work as an evening coat but it absolutely goes on an airplane it goes to the supermarket with yeah. a pair of shorts in the summertime if it's pouring down rain out so it is waterproof and um, water resistant you think what's the difference I, when you say waterproof it means no water will ever get through there i'm sure like the little detective di dictionaries are going to figure that out well don't go out in a fucking huge rainstorm anyway stay inside but like i don't know Anyways, i think it'll roll off of it it's good for rain yeah it's a it is a trench coat but it's good for rain um so it solves a problem right it's a good topper and it's absolutely that great like september coat and what's great too is as light as it is it's a good layering coat yeah in the other seasons okay my other really exciting piece in the collection are the cotton sweaters. So I'm wearing a tank under this. You can see how um, it's a little sheer, but I'm gonna, like, let me just see here. I'm gonna just show like, if so, I, Someone like, asked me, what's the difference between this and like a regular tee? Like, why would I buy this over buying a tee? Okay, so let me show you. Yep. First of all, I just did, I pulled my tank up so you can see I'm wearing a black bra underneath. So you can see like, <laughs> it's not, it's not sheer. What happens is, so that you guys, can, I'm, I'm gonna state the obvious, but it's more gonna be like an aha moment for you. When you're wearing a white tank underneath something, it actually appears more sheer, sheer than it is. Mm -hmm. So when things are closer to your skin tone, they are not going to cast such a bright difference underneath. Sure. And ironically, the black is less showy yeah. here yep. than the white is. So Basically what I'm just saying is, it's not super sheer. And you're probably not wearing a white bra with a white shirt. Don't be doing that. I'm just putting it out yeah. there to pass up with this. Real quick, what size um, pants are you wearing? Today? Uh, I'm wearing the Wilt. So I'm wearing the Wilt, which is- What size? What size? I'm wearing the Wilt in extra large and tropical wool. And then we also have, of course, the Wilt now in a new shiny. fabrication in the shiny and the crispy nylon. Yeah. It's funny, it looks so iridescent. Um, so what I want to point out with the sweaters here is my big hunt was to have a cotton sweater mm -hmm. that was year round. And so every time we had tried to do a cotton sweater in the past, either the mills did them in a really, really, really lightweight fabrication mm -hmm. that wasn't workable in September or October flying on an airplane. And then the other option, I don't care who it came from, like the knit downs and the sweaters would come and it looked like Gap Kids. And I really, I, I hate that. So I wanted, we kept going back and getting them to really give us a yarn that would be a fine gauge that would drape on the body that would be great to layer up mm -hmm. under a jacket. What I love is like, you know the quality of a sweater with this, is a, um, the finishing of the sweater here. So you can see how it's attached and no detail was spared. And these are available online? Yeah, right these now? are part of the Fundamentals collection. So I'm showing you Amy's is available in the white. Here's the other two colors that it comes in. And this is the vest that I was also wearing in small. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you, here's the size small vest on me. This is the size that I take. Mm -hmm. This is how it looks when cross you it. cross it over and button it. Um, but the sweaters here, I just, Again, they are completely unisex for our to-be husbands. Um, and I'm just saying husbands because that's the Instagram site, Spouse, but yep. to-be partners. Um, but these are the sweaters and I wanted them to, the perfect cotton sweater is the one that, you know, in July in the movie theater, it can be balled up put into small your enough bag. that you can put it in your bag. Yep. Yeah, because my mom, like we used to always have to smuggle popcorn into the I movie because she was like, you're not buying movie theater popcorn. But you really want to have something that can ball up so small that if you're on the airplane or whatever, you got it. If you are in Hong Kong, you know what those offices are like when the air conditioning is blasting yep. full blast. So you want to have things that are easy to ball up and wear it. So, there you go. I told him. I mean, now don't. Sweater pockets. Are you happy to see me? <laughs> oh, swing. <laughs> no, don't do that, but it is thin enough to yeah. do that. Um, and then also lightweight enough that if you want to just wrap it around you here when you're not wearing it. I'm not mad at that I know, color. I'm not, yeah, I was like, oh. Right? And then I kind of feel like 
I would maybe wear like the red shoe with it. I, Anyways, it feels good. We'll recreate. Um, so again, uh, the things in fundamentals, they're either solving a problem, they are things that you can wear over multiple seasons, they are things that go with Tibby that you bought in the past, yep. Tibby that you want to buy in the present. Um, so again, problem solvers, the perfect t-shirts that what makes these perfect is the weight. Mm -hmm. They're a weight a that weight. it has guts to it so that, you know, when you're at a dinner party, it, it's not going to be that stretched out neckline. It's, it's not wobbly. Yeah. It's finished. And we, we were just talking about this and giving shit to um, Derek, our um, director, because my, oh. my, pe <laughs> my peeve, what, what you want to look out for is when you like that good mix of contrast. So sometimes like when things are silk, when things are beautiful, rich wool, that's when like a raw edge can mm -hmm. feel like the really, mainly crepe. Exactly. The raw edge can feel really, yes, mm -hmm. $50 a yard Italian fabric. Give me a raw edge and it feels ironic mm -hmm. and it feels polished and it doesn't feel sloppy. Mm -hmm. When I feel sloppy every time is if you give me a t-shirt or if you give me a sweatshirt with a raw edge, <laughs> it rolls up and, and it, it, it becomes too, um, it's already a really super yeah. casual fabrication Looks mixed casual. with a casual treatment is going to like give too much of a casual vibe. Mm -hmm. So when you take these fabrications that are like casual, like a really refined cotton, these knits, and then you put them in to bodies that are much more tailored mm -hmm. or refined, that's when you have this perfect marriage. And that's when things operate as valves. They can really like, yeah. you know, something like this, if you did put it on with like the sloppiest sweatpant or torn up jeans, it's still going to elevate it yeah. because it's really fresh. So like, this is what I wore today. So yep. like if I were wearing the ripped up jeans, this t-shirt mixed with like this flat, it's still refined, refined yep. and polished. But if I was wearing the ripped up jeans and I had a t-shirt that like has just like ripped. strings hanging, hmm? like, or a big, you know, stretched out neckline, yeah that's when things like start to feel too sloppy. And in our world, creative pragmatists, it seems like a lot of us are constantly straddling for the balance, not because it's right or wrong, but it's because for some reason, it tends to be where we feel the best when we are kind of objectively not like going too far one way yep. or another. <laughs> That'd be um, good for us to talk about knits because you're talking about refined knits and let me compact knit on real quick because I can put it on. Over compact my knit was not in fundamentals before, so this is a new thing, right? Like the well, well these are these, pretty much like everything's been new, right? 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 But I mean, this body, like, so the pencil skirt, which we've seen before, the pencil skirt is a refined and more um, mid waist fit, I would think. The, tail, the trouser skirt is a little bit lower on the well, waist. Well, in this body, we have done now right. for a few seasons. In the line, and in the blue. And now he got graduated. He graduated. So he was in that floral. Yeah, Jacquard. drop a little cap for him. He was in a floral Jacquard. Yeah, he gets the... And so now we have a match, which is like a little petty hole in the back. like eight shifts. I know, I tried to act like he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was reading something that like, this one was ass eating time. What? Yeah, you read that? Is that a somebody soap stack? It's funny because someone, one of the spammers just, just commented, eat her. Oh, <laughs> God. Anyway, well, they were very afraid to, like, you're just going to bite it. Yeah, in the, the snow. floor. It was something yeah. to the floor. Um, okay, so this top I love so much. And it's because I'm sounding so HSN with, like, everything I love, but... They, it's so not you're a gonna wear this as a more have, refined top. It's a high neck. It's a, a high keyhole. neck, but it's got all the stretch in right. it. It's got so much stretch. It's got the keyhole. Someone had pointed out today that we mm -hmm. had the wrong visual for the campaign images mm -hmm. below, but we corrected it. But I appreciate you uh, writing and pointing that out because I wouldn't have known. Thank you, Donna. This is the compact. It's kind of like scuba s, but like yeah. truly really compact. So again, I want to show that like if I were wearing the ripped jeans. This is like the perfect balance with this. I also love wearing lighter denim with things that are like a little bit. Yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah, because if I get too like 
a gray t-shirt it just i don't know it feels too up. yeah um so anyways this is so great like if i were traveling it's wonderful <laughs> because at least it wasn't like underwear. At least it was real. I know. I was like, what is this? Um, but if I were traveling, you know, like it we've got Paris coming up. Yep. So um, Couture is going to be there. If any of you guys are going to be in Paris and want to meet with her, we'll talk about that later. I, yeah. Duh, sorry. That's okay. This is a town hall. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I would go out at night for sure in this with a strappy sandal and a fishnet tight. Mm -hmm. And then in the showroom, I'm going to put this on and I'm going to wear the little ballet slipper and I'm going to just be like working all day in this. So, and then I'm going to go out at night with this and yep. he, you know, you're going to break it apart and Capsule. wear it a million different ways. And, um, and it's got all the stretch. And so I may not be wearing this in July in Bali. I'm not going to lie about that. But when it's got all this stretch, you can also just kind of pull it up like that yeah, and it stays. It What's the name of it? This is a I compact can... knit and it's in fundamentals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so one thing that I'm very excited about, we have brought out the white and the I'm balloon skirt as well. And I love, love wearing white in the winter time. I love that this fills yeah. a gap, like every time you show it, I love wearing white in the winter and I was not a white in the winter girl. It's like, no after. Hmm? But I would wear, I would wear the white skirt and then the black and then this color together. Super like, cute. These three are so chic to me. So I think this is where, when you think about, um, there are no rules, right? So white in the winter, is just giving an opportunity for one ton or none, and then this becomes like the okay. focal point of your eye. So this is a good one. So this is the new colorway yep. in um, in the tropical wool, and we've got him here in the vest and in the coat, the blazer. We've got the Stella pants here. In comparison to the dra the drapey suiting, which what would you say people have asked? Is this darker? I think it's darker and like. Slightly more green. The drapery suiting that we had from summer. From summer, color wise, because it's similar, but it's not. It's like mustardy. Yeah, the, the richer. It's got more. Um, I was okay. gonna name a spice, but then like I forgot. I can't come. Can't, can't even think of the name of the spice. So. Hmm, like curry. It's more like a curry. Cumin. No, but we called the other one cumin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love how excited. I'll guess cumin for my hundred. Anise. Um, I'm not sure, but it's different. Oh, so just trust me. Yeah. No, but it's um, it has less brown in mm -hmm. it. So let's show the different body types yeah, here in the hands. So if you'll bring out the um, Stella, yeah. So Stella. Okay. So Stella, Stella, guys, we love Stella. You can roll him up. He can be. Oh, well, anyways, we yeah. know how much we love Stella. Yep. And then we've got on here. You've got the body. That I'm wearing you here. Wearing. I'm wearing this in the regular, not the long. So if you want to get a little space, I like to, because it, it doesn't cling to your ankle. It's not supposed to be tight. I just open my zipper for everything and get skin. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay, so the new one here is this guy. What's his name? Cat. Cat. I pretend that you named it after me. Oh, I did. <laughs> <It's> really? <laughs> yeah, Cat for Katara. Um, okay, so one of the things that we've done on this is We've actually, he's similar to the body of the Felix, mm -hmm. but the Felix had the um, paper bag waistband. the paper bag waistband. So I was kind of craving something that was a little cleaner at the top. The other thing is I have, when you get this, it's not a mistake that the zipper ends here. What we did is we ended it here because I want you to know that this is really intended to be worn open. The interesting part of this pant is when it opens up and it splays over the side of your ankle, it just gives an interesting relaxed vibe to it. So that is very intentional there. Um, and I know that when people come out of the dressing room and that, when they came out with it zipped all the way down, they're like, yeah, I hate this pant. Right. And then I would like unzip and they were like, is it was chill. Damn. I love this pant. Sure. It's so, only one inch longer than the Felix, so it's not a big jump. Yeah. Um, this is the other colorway in the cashmere. So we've got the, um, in the washable cashmere, you mm -hmm. have the navy, and then you've got this guy. 
We did him in a really scooped out tank. I'm not sure of his name, but if I gave him a name, it would be Sarah Brody because she like lives in this kind of tank. I love this one for me, the Navy's my favorite. Yep. Um, but something about like this tank with the cardi. No, the white skirt there. Oh yeah. Like that and that, and then, yeah. oh, you know what I'm gonna show you here? Hmm. When I did the good egg, I haven't tried these on yet. I mm -hmm. just got them, but I like included them. Mm -hmm. But this is a sandal I just got. Let's see how this looks. These are um, from the Attico. But you know what? I hate it when, I hate it when they put this sticker on. That should get better glue. Shit out of me. Um, no way, I don't sometimes. like it on there at all. But anyways, um, the, my point is that what fundamentals do is they allow things that like might not that might not normally set, look like a U shoe. Mm -hmm. This is your hat. This is my hat to have. So it's not Tracy's hat to have, but right. it's like my hat to have. But if I was wearing this with like a big silk chiffon overly designed out blouse and mm -hmm. the whole thing, I wouldn't feel like myself at all. Right. If I had a big design blouse, I want to wear like a black Birkenstock with it. Mm -hmm. But when I'm wearing this, if I'm on vacation, the idea of wearing then a little skimpy, blingy shoe feels really right. But then I'm also going to wear the sneaker. And then I'm also going to wear just a plain, like, thong. It just depends shoe. on the different vibe that I'm looking for. But whatever shoe I've mixed in can really change the vibe. And I think that might just let us leave on one of the last um, components here is that when when we talk about fundamentals the way that um and again the joke you cook so at least like you're a little you got more cred but one of the analogies that i use frequently i use cooking analogies a lot uh, with absolutely no permission or right to do so but the way that i think this resonates for a lot of people is that Fundamentals are literally like your eggs, your olive oil, yeah. your flour. They are pieces, they are elements that are so fundamental to an outfit, but you never get tired of them. Yep. You know, you don't walk in and you're upset because you've got like flour again for dinner. Like it's not a thing, no one's ever said that. And, but there are things also that if the flour is not a good quality, if the olive oil isn't like really mm. freshly pressed, you might not be like, ooh, but it kind of rubs you off. Yeah. You know, it's it doesn't, not as memorable it's or it not is as in the worst good part. Mm -hmm. as you want it to be. So true. And it's a critical part of the recipe. So you really do want it to be good. True. So fundamentals are really just like those kind of core components. We talk about in and outs, and in and outs in our collection, they are things that are, um, have, you know, like there are areas where Tracy and I are really experimenting, we're scratching mm -hmm. an itch, we're seeing if we're gonna love it, um, we're diving into a, a moment, and then sometimes we wanna take that moment and shave it down and put mm -hmm. it into fundamentals in the future. But it's something that like, they're those items that sometimes you go in your closet and you're like, oh my God, I wore this every day for like two years. But now I can't imagine wearing it for a while. Right. Huh. Those are those in and out. Mm. This pant, any of these items, no. you're not going to do that. No. They might, they're not going to. I thought of a pant immediately. I have a red pant. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to wear that again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So they're the items that you're like, I wore it to death in the moment. I've got this J.W. Anderson navy blue. Like, it's got this poof. Mm. I bought it, like, I don't know, eight, six, seven, eight years ago. Mm hmm I wore the hell out of it for like two years. I love that top. Like the it made everything feel new. <laughs> My cost per wear was good, but now when I look at it, I'm like, I'm tired of you. Who was I then? I don't, mm -hmm. you know. And and I wasn't crazy, but it was like a moment in time. Those are in and outs, and they're things that like they make us feel very modern and present and in the moment. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to wear them all the time. So in the cooking analogy, they're, you know, they're your meat on the plate. They're a fish. They're you know, you're not going to, I love fish, but you're not going to eat fish every day. Easily swapped out, right? Or not swapped out, but like, you're not going to eat them all the time. No, and, and you're going to move on probably to something else. And it doesn't mean that you have lost your identity. You don't know who mm -hmm. you are anymore. 
just means that you're ready to try something new. A new fish. Those fundamentals are grounding you. No one is ever like, I've sworn off of olive oil and salt, unless it's like a medical thing, but like, they're not things that you tend to move in and out of. You need them. Um, and then had to have, those are those very, very special one-off items. Um, I'm staring at one of them. On I, was, the I saw one of them, I was like. That one I probably just need to sell, really. Like, but, um, but they are things that like, you do not dive too deeply into them. They are things that are drowning people's closet. When any of you write to me and you've got a closet that is overloaded, it's because you've been buying these emotional had to haves. And when you can really separate out and understand what they're for, what they will bring to you mm -hmm. and how much you need them in your closet or not, you will feel in a much better place. So let's end with two more things. We've got this new yellow colorway mm -hmm. in the Charlie and the Gabe mm -hmm. shirts. The Charlie shirts are leaner and slimmer. Mm -hmm. And then the Gabe is a fuller body and mm -hmm. it's got this high side slit, which allows for lots of different um, styling options. Yep. And then one of my favorites, Absolutely. Is, yeah, we moved him into fundamentals now. I live in the slip skirt, and I'm so happy that it's available in two colors to kind of ground me for when I want something that's not the pull-on. So this is this will be my slim skirt. Yeah. So last spring, we had sold out of this one right away. Mm -hmm. He belongs in fundamentals for sure. Then this is a great color in the brown as well. Mm -hmm. Like I would totally wear this and this, and then like that silver ballet flat and be incredibly happy. One last thing, so you can see this up live, is um, the navy blue colorway in the acid wash, yeah. in the Winslow body, and then the sweatshirt cocoon, in the cocoon sweatshirt, which we all love. And um, this comes in two lengths, like everything else. And then, last but not least, this is the new colorway in the favorite pant that we've done in the past here mm -hmm. in the navy we've now got it in this army color and so just worn like with hello yeah i'm I, sorry I'm how chic that. so um so fundamentals we design them to go with your in and outs and your had to haves but fundamental 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 all together totally great too yeah, totally and easy. easy but absolutely the backbone of your wardrobe or for your kitchen whichever analogy <laughs> makes you happiest um, so that's it. Happy shopping. Um, the styles just went up. Remember fundamentals are really, um, they are bought and designed to be around for a while. So you don't have to like lose your mind that they're not going to be here tomorrow if you don't buy it right away. Yep, um, that's very true. They're not meant to sell out right away. These are bought with the intention of, um, being here for hopefully a couple of months mm -hmm. for you to get. And, and then it's the main collection, which is like T90, get in, get out. Um, but that's it, so yeah. Quick reminder is that for this episode and every other, all products will be linked in the bio of the YouTube video. And that link Big will deal. be- Big deal. Guys, this is Matt. Hey guys. <laughs> um, we will post the YouTube link and then all of the products will be timestamped and linked back to the site. So you can find everything there and we'll get you that soon and are we here next week yes we're, <laughs> i was like ask my boss I don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah, next, yeah okay we're here next week all right Appreciate so guys we'll see you next week all right take care have a good night and we'll be in our dms if you have any questions except for eggplant man <laughs> <laughs>